Justin Jefferson, arguably the best receiver in the league, is pretty much unstoppable as he's into year four, I believe, of his career. And in this video, we're going to see what if Justin Jefferson played with Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. All right, so we got Justin Jefferson on the Eagles. This is how he looks like. He's wearing number 18, best player on the team, probably. And he's gonna be paired up with Jalen Hurts. It's an interesting combination here, but we did trade AJ Brown to the Vikings to kind of pair it, to kind of just, you know, make it at least a little bit fair. I think it would be a little too OP if AJ Brown and Devonta Smith were still there, but we kept Devonta Smith. But Jeff Justin Jefferson will be looking pretty, pretty solid, I'd say. And, um,. I'm going to assume by the time it's mid-season, they're, they're going to be like 5-2 and two and up. And Justin Jefferson might be on some like insanity. Like you know how Devontae Adams was with, with Patrick Mahomes when he was on the Chiefs. Whoa, we're 3-4? and four? <sighs> Oh, 3-4 and four is insane. Nah, 3-4 and four is crazy. 3-4 and four is crazy. And we're facing the Commanders who have the best record in our division. Justin Jefferson's not even top anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. So offense is ranked 11. Jalen Hurts, Mariota's playing? Is Jalen Hurts injured, bro? No way. <gasps> oh my gosh, bro. Jalen Hurts is injured, that's why. No wonder, bro, that sucks. That actually sucks. Justin Jefferson's fine, but we have Mary, bro. What do we, what could we do about that? I don't even know if there's anything we could do about that. <laughs> like, this is just a straight injury. Okay, so I guess what we could do is sim till Jalen Hurts is back, I guess. We get a bye week, so we have to play without Jalen Hurts against the Commanders, Cowboys, and Chiefs. So we ended up beating the Commanders to go second in the division. And then we're facing the Cowboys. In that game, we won 17-14. to Mariota threw a touchdown. Okay did his thing justin jefferson had two catches 18 yards see like that's not how i envisioned this going that's not how i envisioned this going but you know we're winning games so that's the important part we're facing the cowboys leading the division this will pretty much decide who's going to be leading by the time we go into the bye i'm going to hope it's us it is us we actually end up beating them okay okay all right that's actually really good that's really good we're gonna upgrade the players okay so mariota is doing his thing <laughs> like Hello. <laughs> Mariota's doing his thing, I guess. We're still not... No one's up there statistically, but... Against the Cowboys, we won 24-17, to so a good win. A good win. Mariota threw for 287 yards and one touchdown. Got sacked three times, but still won the game. Run, running committee was pretty good. Oh, hey, Justin Jefferson turned up five catches, 118 yards, and one touchdown. All right, can't complain. Can't complain. And we have a bye week, so I'm hoping that either Jalen Hurts is back this week, or... Or he is um, going to return after. But it would be perfect if he comes back because we have a huge stretch here with the Chiefs and the Bills back to back. So, and the Chiefs are 5 and 4 as well. I think the Bills are, wow, Vikings are 1 and 8. That's crazy. That is actually insane. So, Bills are 9 and 0, and they're facing the Denver Broncos, as you guys can see. That's going to be a tough one. And I think we're going to want to play in that game. But in this game, we're playing against the Chiefs. And. We're five and four leading the division. That's really good. Let's see if um if we take a look at injury report. I hope Jalen Hurts is back. Please be back. One more week. Ah, one more week. So we need Mariota to beat Matt Patrick Mahomes. Is it possible? Yes. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. But we're gonna sim pass this week. We're gonna get Jalen Hurts back regardless. And we ended up losing. And the Bills ended up losing too. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with losing to the Chiefs. And we get Jalen Hurts back, so he should hopefully stay healthy. <laughs> and we're facing the Buffalo Bills. I believe that we will win. <laughs> Jalen Hurts back is back in the lineup. So all is good. All is good. And let's... I mean, we're 5-5, five and five, so I, I think... I think Mariota did a good job in the absence, you know? I think... I can't even complain with how he performed. Wow, we got blasted 7-28. to 28. Okay, well, that's a tough way to go out. He threw two interceptions and got sacked twice. But we have Jalen Hurts back. So, all is good. All is good. I thought Justin Jefferson would be on some breaking breaking record type of season, but that's not the case. But we're facing the 10-1 Bills. This is the game we want to play. Let's get into it.
Big first quarter drive. Jalen Hurts is back. We got Justin Jefferson to the left, obviously. Start for the run with DeAndre Swift. Oh, my gosh. That left tackle. Oh, I should have went around. Dude, that left guard or left tackle bullied that linebacker. Okay. I want to test Justin Jefferson. He's one-on-one -on -one with Teron Johnson here. Oh, yeah. That's it. He's wide open. What? Out of reach? Okay, he's a little rusty. He's a little rusty, I'd say. Darius Slay's out for the game and Fletcher Cox. Oh, we're missing people. Whoa. Whoa. Guys are injured. That's that's not looking good. We missed them one-on-one, -on -one, but it's okay. Jalen Hurts will make it. We'll mess up, but we will get his touches soon. Offensive line, dude, is just insane. Y'all saw the game against the Vikings, the way how that offensive line was just bullying the Vikings, bro. Yeah, I think Madden already updated it to be exactly like that. But in this play, we're going to test Justin Jefferson. He's on the left side. It's our best bet to go. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah, Justin Jefferson. What a catch. What a catch. Come on. He cannot guard him. See, Justin Jefferson one-on-one -on -one again. This time, I hope we don't miss him. Justin Jefferson one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's not a P.I.? P.I.? Hello? <laughs> Devonta Smith gets the catch. Ooh, flag on who, though? Flag on who? Bro, we get hit with a holding call? <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. We get hit with holding. Okay. Justin Jefferson one-on-one -on -one again. I want to see if we can get this. Justin Jefferson, can you win this? No. No, he cannot. Oh, wait, but that was second and 20, though. So that was second and 20. So we still have a chance. Quez Watkins is now in the game. You know what? Let's just give Justin Jefferson a slant. Make him just work with it. The run after catch. Boom. Nice catch. All the way down to the fourth and five. Let's no huddle that. I believe we could take this. Justin Jefferson, make a play. All we need from you. Yes, he does. Breaks a tackle all the way down to the one-yard line. Justin Jefferson's elite, dude. <laughs> Justin Jefferson on a fade? I haven't I've never seen him try this. Oh wow. He did beat him on the release, but nah, we probably shouldn't have thrown it up. We probably should have given him a slant, to be honest. So yeah, let's just give him a slant. Like slants win. So And then Teron Johnson's been covering him. Touchdown. Easy. Jalen Hurts to Justin just Justin Jefferson. Imagine. <laughs> so now offense is going down the field. I'm gonna keep them on there. And it looks like big field goal will be up 10-0. Looks like our defense is holding it down. Two-minute drill. Are they going to get some points? No, they don't. We have the ball. We're just shutting down the Bills' offense. That 10-1 team can't do anything against us. We're up 17-0. They finally score. But we're going down the field to score, too. And big field goal kick 20-7. They end up scoring, but we hold on to the ball and pretty much win 20-14. So we beat... With Jalen Hurts coming back, we beat the best team in the NFL. Jalen Hurts had a 68 completion percentage, two tutties, and Josh Allen threw a pick. 102 pass rating for Jalen Hurts. Him coming back is a big deal for us. Justin Jefferson, 10 catches, 125 yards, one touchdown. Insanity. Dallas Goddard got a lot of touches as well, too. And we know that our defense did our... Oh, whoa. Their defense actually went off on us. Because Leonard Floyd had two and a half sacks. But nonetheless, we take the W. We beat the Bills 20 to 14. We move to six and five, third in our division. It's going to be a battle to see who comes out the NFC East. But we have Jalen Hurts back, and I'm putting my money on us. <laughs> so we end up going 10 and seven, winning the division. Let's go. Jalen Hurts came back and got that push. This is exactly what we wanted. We ended up, we ended up going four and two in that span, which is all we needed to do. And we win. Or not we win, but. but, but we win but he comes back and helps us out big time our offense finished six in the league pretty awesome and third defense perfect Jalen Hurts comes back 11 touchdowns one pick he came back on a mission on a mission so and running committee is really good Justin Jefferson still hit a thousand yards but Devontae Smith had more yards than him seven TDs kind of a down year but made the playoffs without you know having our quarterback we had Mariota for a good part so can't complain in a top tier defense so we face the Buccaneers at home, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's go and see how this goes. Big first quarter drive. We end up scoring 7-0. We get the ball back. Second quarter, we score again 14-0. We get the ball. We're just cruising. It's 21 zip right now, or 21-3. We got the ball. They got the ball back. Their offense is going down to score. Third down alert for us. Third down alert again. And they actually ended up stopping us. But we got the ball back. Score 
Looks like they're going forward. They mess up. We get we keep the ball. We're moving it down the field. Big field goal kick. 31-10. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. 31-17 victory in this game. Statistics, Jalen Hurts threw one touchdown, but 84 completion percentage. Can't even be mad. Both teams threw a lot of interceptions, but Rashad Penny carried the ball quite a bit. So it looks like DeAndre Swift might have gotten hurt towards the end of the season. Wait, well, receiving was non-existent. Eight catches for Kareem Hunt. How about our receivers? Justin Jefferson had two catches for 22 yards. All right. Hey, a win's a win. So on to the next game. 13-4 and four Panthers. So that means Bryce Young had a, had a field day. I want to take a look at his stats before we go into that warfare because this is an away game. Bryce Young, 27 touchdowns, 10 picks. Surprising considering they went 13-4. and four. Running back committee was all right. Adam Thielen was their lead receiver. Okay, okay. Defense, nothing too crazy. They, I just, I, they just probably just went insane pretty much. So now we go travel to Carolina and see if uh, we can uh, end their streak. <laughs> so pretty much tied in the second quarter. We got the ball. We're going down to score. We end up scoring, making it 14-7. Big third down stop. We ended up stopping them. And now we're going down the field to score. Let's see if we can make this. We went for it on fourth down, made it 21-7. We got the ball. We're going down the field. Fourth down alert. We do not get it. But where our defense is holding it down, our offense is moving the ball really well. We go make the score 24-7 now. They come back. We got the ball. Third down alert. Third down alerts. If we can't get it, we got to just kick a field goal. But it looks like we score. And I'm just going to take this game 31-21. to So we're all to the conference championship. That's actually very shocking considering that this is a high part team. Bryce Sogan had an 84 completion percentage. And high pass rating, but ended up still losing. So Rashad Penny took most of the carries again. So another good day, I guess. Justin Jefferson had one was held to one catch, 11 yards. So he's getting really clamped up. But it's a good secondary, so I'm not surprised. But very interesting game. We ended up taking it 31-21. In the conference championship, we're facing the Niners. A rematch from last year. Jalen Hurts versus Brock Purdy. Let's see who's going to make it this time. Third down alert. We end up scoring 7-7 seven, seven, tie game. Whoa. And Niners end up scoring right back. So we got to do our thing as well, too. But we got to kick the field goal. See if our defense gets a stop. They do. We end up taking the lead. Defense is holding it down. But they end up scoring. Uh, we Whoa. We're in field goal position. Then we come back. Third down alert again. So we're doing our thing. This is a battle for the ages. But we end up turning the ball over. But we get the ball back. Dre Greenlaw got the ball back. And then we got, we need to score here. And which we do, we end up tying the game. And Niners going down, we stopped them. So, looks like, what happened? Oh, we lost by three? Bro, <laughs> bro, bro. Both quarterbacks threw an interception. Two touchdowns from each. 309 passing yards from Jalen Hurts. Okay. Christian McCaffrey went off. 14 carries, 132 yards, two touchdowns. That, that dude is insane. But Justin Jefferson, non-existent in these, in these games, surprisingly. I don't know why we don't throw to him. But for other cases, our guys, Devonta Smith and, Jay, and um, what's his name? Justin Jefferson didn't get any receptions. But we were so close to making it to the Super Bowl. So successful year. Would this be the same situation? Maybe. But who knows? Who really knows? But Justin Jefferson on the Eagles is an interesting combination.